Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gabriel, just on the fan TV. Back at you on the video. Like the content of this video, smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go over and hit subscribe, man. Look, let's get into today's news. All right, man, the Eagles officially signed Jalen Hurts to a mega, mega deal. Uh, their franchise quarterback is now locked up. Long term deal, five year extension kind of thing. And, um, Great news for the Eagles. For any Eagles fans that happen to find this video and watch it, you know, I'm very happy for y'all. Great news. Um, Jalen Hurst deserved it. Super Bowl, really MVP caliber kind of season last year. Uh, turned into a really, really good player. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to see him get paid, right? So let's talk about the contract details real quick. Um, $255 million. Um, five year did $255 million. $179 million in total guarantees. $110 at signing. So 110 is technically the fully guaranteed uh, part of it. The 179, I would imagine, is the injury guarantee of him being on the roster next year, which is obviously like pretty much 100% likely. So uh, Jalen Hurts gets that kind of deal. Now, I'm a Ravens fan, and what this means for Lamar Jackson is very, very important to us. Um, it seems as though that Lamar Jackson is not going to get the deal that he wanted to get. The deal that he's been seeking, the deal that he's been wanting to get, it doesn't seem like it's out there. Now... For anybody get mad, the Eagles fans get mad. This is my opinion, right? I believe that Lamar Jackson is a better football player than Jalen Hurts. If you put Lamar Jackson on that Eagles team with those weapons, with that system and that scheme, he could do everything Jalen Hurts can do uh, to me, maybe even a little bit more, right? So he's a better player, fine. But the accolades don't match up, all right? He already has more playoff wins, already been to the Super Bowl. And I'm just talking about how they're going to use this in negotiations against Lamar Jackson. That's simply how I'm talking about this, okay? That's how they're going to paint the picture. Plain and simple, right? Um, obviously, he wasn't hurt last year. Lamar Jackson has, been, has has finished the last two seasons. These are all things they are going to say, and the Ravens are going to be like, "We offered you two hundred and fifty million, one seventy five total guarantees, one thirty three in signing." Right? These are all numbers that are in line with what Jalen Hurts got. Actually, the one thirty three in signing is more than twenty three million dollars than what Jalen Hurts got at signing. Jalen Hurts took the third most at signing ever, so he didn't even reset the market at signing. Right now, listen, I'm a strong proponent of NFL players getting fully guaranteed deals because I believe they put their body on the line. We here to see the players play. I think they deserve those kind of contracts full stop. Right. But at the end of the day, somebody has to be willing to um, take that next step. Right. Jalen Hurst was a guy that's in line. Joe Burrow is a guy that's in line. Uh, Justin Herbert is a guy that's in line. If Jalen Hurst didn't do it, I can almost guarantee Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow are not going to push for the fully guaranteed deal, right? So that leaves Lamar Jackson as he's been a man on the island by himself. Now, obviously, Lamar Jackson can choose to stay there, right? He can choose to do that and fight for what he believes in as far as getting the guaranteed deal, or getting the money that he's looking for. Now, listen, he did. There were reports that came out a while ago that said, hey, look, I'm not looking for a fully guaranteed contract. I'm just looking for more money than Deshaun Watson got. Right, so if Deshaun Watson got 230 guarantee, give me 231, 232. The market is just not supporting that, right? Because it's easy for Lamar Jackson to say this: "I'm a better player than Deshaun Watson. I accomplished more than Deshaun Watson." I would agree with that. I think he's a better player than Deshaun Watson. He's accomplished more than Deshaun Watson has accomplished. Okay, it's it's hard to make the argument again for that that exact argument. It's hard to make the argument against Jalen Hurts against Joe Burrow. Now, Justin Herbert has a lot of numbers, but hasn't really accomplished much. But as far as Joe Burrow and Jalen Hurts go, it's hard to make that argument. Because if Joe Burrow takes a contract that's in similar in line with this kind of deal, Lamar Jackson is going to have no leg to stand on in negotiations. I, and I, I hate to say it like that because I really have been rooting for him to get the contract that he wants to get. But how it's looking is either the Eagles took the Ravens deal and simplified it or, or changed some things or the Ravens were already very cognizant of the Eagles deal because they're so similar. You know, obviously besides for the guarantee that signing, which is like, like I said, a $23 million difference. They're very, very similar. I mean, 255 versus 250, 175 versus 179. Very, very similar things going on right here. So Jalen Hurts, I'm happy you got your money. You did, you did what's right for you. I, I don't hold it against him getting that bag. I don't hold it against him. But it hurts Lamar Jackson, right? And Lamar Jackson has to decide whether or not it's worth standing up for how for the country he thinks he, he deserves or thinks he wants or what the, mark, the market is dictating for him to get, right? Now, listen, man. I'm not on the side of owners. I'm on the side of players. I'll say that again. I want Lamar Jackson to get the contract he wants. 
though the contract that he wants simply does not appear to be out there except for the Cleveland Browns. They were the only team to ever offer that kind of deal. I know people have been saying that for quite a long time, right? But without next guys that were behind him better surpassing it, um, Lamar Dastic could be like, yeah, well, I'm better than those guys. I'm better than Colin Murray. I'm better than Russell Wilson, right? So then it was like, okay, you still got a little bit of leverage there. But if Jalen Hurts signed his deal and then Joe Burrow signs his deal in the in the near future and it's somewhere around, say, Jalen Hurts, say uh, Joe Burrow is maybe 185, right? Or, you know, 187 uh, as far as total guarantees. It's going to hurt Lamar Jackson. I'm sorry. There's no other way to say it's going to hurt him. Um, so listen, man, I don't want to turn into a sad video because it's not a sad video. It's very uplifting, man. You know, Jalen Hurts, black quarterback, a guy that his job was on the line last year, right? People were talking about, well, we'll see what Jalen Hurts can do with his Eagles team. They got him the weapons. They got him the system. If he can't perform in this system, then it might be time to figure out uh, another direction, right? He stepped up at every turn, and he deserves that contract fully. I'm very, very happy for Jalen Hurts, right? Um, but I am a Ravens fan, so I got to think about how it affects the Ravens, how it affects Lamar Jackson. And how it affects Lamar Jackson, the symbol is that the contract that you desire, they're showing you repeatedly that it's not out there. Now, Lamar Jackson can say, look, man, I don't care. I want what I want. And listen, if he says that, I ain't, all power to him. I, like I said, I'm not I'm not against him in any form or fashion. But realistically, I mean, if Jalen Hurts don't get it, if Joe Burrow don't get it, Who's going like? And let's take the Ravens out of this, right? Let's say another team. Why would say the Colts offer you the contract higher than Jalen Hurts, higher than whatever Joe Burrow might get? Why would they do that, right? So it's tough, man. It's tough because, like I said, I want Lamar Jackson to get what 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 he wants, but it's just not supporting that it's out there. So the Ravens deal seems to be the really does seem to be the best deal. That two fifty, one seventy five, one thirty three at signing. Um, you get that 175 second year on the roster, like that's a hundred percent deal. You know the Ravens ain't going to take a take the uh, what is it the 70 million dollar dead cap hit if they was to cut you next year. They're not going to take that hit. So you get the 175 guarantee, and um, I'm not counting nobody pockets on what he should do, uh, but I'm just saying what the market is dictating. Uh, what Jalen Hurts just got, um, I can't see Lamar Jackson surpassing that. The Ravens have no reason to offer him higher than Jalen Hurts. They don't have a reason to do that. Any prospective teams will have a reason to do that. Yes, I know the Commanders are the hot name because they just got bought out. Dan Snyder is gone. Maddie Johnson and his ownership group of um, you know of other very, very rich and wealthy people uh, just came in there. But let's say that they want to make a move for Lamar Jackson, make that splash signing. They don't have a reason to give Lamar Jackson that contract. They're brand new owners. Now, of course, they, want to, they probably want to make their brand new owner move but also, they don't want to be, oh, this is our first move. Let's alienate ourselves from the rest of the owners. They, they think like this. They care about that kind of stuff. So um, while the Commanders could be a team that very well offers Lamar Jackson a, a, a nice amount of money, I still don't think it's going to be that Deshaun Watson contract or Deshaun Watson-esque kind of contract that he's viewing, that he's that he's looking for. I don't think it's going to be there. All right. Um, so, but that's my thoughts on it. Let me know your guys' opinion on it. But first off, I mean, not first off, but last thing I want to say is congrats to Jalen Hurts. He deserves that deal. I'm very, very happy he got that contract. Um, we'll see what kind of contract Lamar Jackson gets. I think this hurts him personally and it helps the Ravens. Um, but we'll see what happens next, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'm going to get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. This is another fan TV. I'm out.